Hello everyone. My name is Karthik and I'm a technical marketing engineer for the Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN product. In this video, I'll talk about configuration and demo of enhanced application aware routing feature. I have two SD-WAN sites, brand site 700 at the bottom and data center site 600 at the top. I have two transports, MPLS T-Lock and public internet T-Lock from the site 700 branch. I have defined an application aware routing policy inside SD-WAN manager, which has a SLA class real-time SLA and APROP class APC real-time, and it is mapped to DHCP EF and using MPLS as the color. I have two hosts, 10.7.100.60 at the bottom connected to site 700 and 10.6.100.60 connected to site 600 at the data center at the top. Real-time traffic prefers MPLS T-Lock with user-defined SLA. If the SLA is not met, it fails over to public internet T-Lock. Localized policy and centralized application-aware routing policy are already configured inside SD-WAN manager. These are the steps that have been already done for the interest of the time. And I will be showing you inside SD-WAN manager the critical elements to configure the application aware routing policy. These are the high level overview steps that an administrator would configure inside SD-WAN manager. Let's look at the configuration. Select configuration policies. You can see that the centralized application aware routing policy is activated. Let's go to the custom options and select lists. Let's click on Approve class. You can view the Approve class configuration. You have APC real time. It maps to real time class and it has color MPLS and DHCP 46. Configuring Approve class is important for enhanced application aware routing as it provides us more granular and accurate per queue measurement of loss, latency, and jitter. Now let's go to SLA class configuration. Let's review the configuration for SLA class list. Let's filter by APRO class. Let's look at the real time SLA. Let's edit that. And you can see that it has loss of 1%, latency 100 milliseconds, and jitter as 10 milliseconds. And it is mapped to the APRO class APC real time. Let's look at the centralized application aware routing policy. Let's click on edit. Under policy application, under application aware routing tab, you can see that the AAR application aware routing policy is applied to sites, branch sites, and corporate VPN. Let's take a quick preview of the policy. You can notice that we have the real time SLA with the loss, latency, and jitter, and APRO class. Now, if you look at the sequence, we are matching on our source destination IP and we are using the preferred color as MPLS and backup as at public internet. And the site list and the APRO class and the VPN. And now you can see that the corporate VPN AAR policy, APRO policy is applied. Here are the high level demo steps. We'll use simulate flows to verify our AAR policy is working and that the traffic is using MPLS T-Lock Gigabit 4. Then we will edit our config group that is already configured with enhanced application aware routing. In the last feature deep dive video, we talked about the different modes. And in this video, we are setting up the configuration as aggressive mode. Then we'll show the video traffic flowing through the sites. We'll introduce a 5% loss on Gigabit Ethernet 4 the MPLS T-Lock will verify that the traffic switchover happens and then we'll also use the simulate flows to confirm that the traffic is moved to the public internet T-Lock. We'll remove the loss again and verify dampening is happening and the traffic still remains on the public internet T-Lock. Let's look at the Approach SLA class and for our branch site 700, you can see the real-time SLA class it's mapped to APC real time and it has class index 2, loss 1%, latency 100 milliseconds, 
and jitter as 10 milliseconds. Now let's look at the traffic flow currently. So we have traffic going from our branch 10.7.100.60 going to the destination in the data center server 10.6.100.60 for real time video application. Right now the traffic chooses MPLS according to our application aware routing policy. If you look at our branch site 700 topology, it has two TLOGs, public internet which maps to gigabit ethernet 1 and MPLS TLOG which is gigabit ethernet 4. So right now the traffic is going over our MPLS TLOG. Inside the SD-WAN manager, let's go to the map view. Let's click on the device site 700 and you can see that it has been associated to CGEFT configuration group and once you click on that you would see that uh, under system profile under basic feature parcel if you click on view details you would see a new option enhanced app aware routing and it gives you a site note that you need to turn this feature on both SD-WAN edges local and remote and currently that this has been configured for aggressive mode which provides faster convergence. To understand the different configuration modes for enhanced app aware routing, please look at part 2 of this video. Now since it's been configured, you know how to configure using configuration group. Let's cancel this and you would go ahead and deploy this configuration group. In order for us to configure using the templates, you go to the configuration templates and under feature templates, this knob has been added under Cisco system template and you would see a new option under basic configuration, enhanced app aware routing and by default it's been disabled. In case you would like to enable this, you can select one of the three options. And likewise, there's a note in here that says this feature needs to be turned on on both local and remote SD-WAN edges. These are the two methods to configure enhanced application aware routing. In order for us to verify the configuration, let's go to monitor devices and let's go to the branch site 700. Let's go to the real time. Let's search for app route statistics. Let's select to not filter for now. And what you would notice in here that we have added a new knob with the enhanced app route so that you know that enhanced application aware routing is enabled for both MPLS and public internet T logs. And in order to verify the configuration CLI, you can go to configuration and devices and select the site 700 branch site and look at running configuration. If you look for enhanced, you would see that you have all the new CLIs. And likewise, you would see data center side also has the configuration set up in place. This confirms how to set up enhanced application aware routing inside SD-WAN manager. As you can see, the video traffic is flowing between the branch site and the data center site. And you can see that the video is playing perfectly fine. Bringing back the topology, I'm going to introduce 5% loss on the MPLS t -lock. Now you would see that on the top right side, I've added a command to introduce 5% loss. Let me log in. And now you can monitor the video on the left where you, you would see that once the loss has been added, the video paused for a moment of time and I've started a timer to monitor how fast we'll be able to detect the van failures and we'll be able to switch over the tunnel to the better path. And you have started to see that between 10 to 15 seconds, we have started seeing the video coming back. And now if you monitor the video on the left, you would see that in a moment of time in the order of seconds, you should see that the convergence has happened and the traffic switched over to the better path, which is the internet t lock. Let's look at the SD WAN manager, and as expected, the loss spiked up to 5%. 
If you look right now in the real time, you can see that the traffic moved over to the INET T lock, which is Gigabit Ethernet 1. And if you look at the simulate flows, the traffic switched over to the public internet. Now let's monitor app road statistics and you can see that the mean loss has been updated and class index 2 is now out of SLA forwarding. Let's remove the loss and verify dampening. By checking the app road statistics command and observing the SLA dampening index, you would see that since the loss is removed, class index 2 will be updated and added into dampening. Once it's monitored for stability and there are no flaps, it is added back into forwarding. This concludes the configuration and demo of this new feature. Thank you for watching. For more HDWAN videos, subscribe to our channel.